In 1971, the first microprocessor was released. The microprocessor was a specialized chip which was able to process four bits of data at a time. The Altar was sold in a kit for $397 and the owner had to write the own software. The first microcomputer was sold mail order by a tiny company in Albuquerque, New Mexico. The Altar got its name from when Roberts asked his daughter for a high-tech sounding name and so she thought of it from the TV series Star Trek. Roberts estimated if he got lucky he would sell enough computer kits to keep his business afloat while he looked for un other revenue sources. Possibly 200 kits a year would be enough. Like many things which have happened in the microcomputer industry since, he had absolutely no idea what impact his computer kit would have on the future world. After an article appeared, the phone started ringing off the hook and Ed Roberts and the rest of the world was soon amazed at how many people wanted their own computer. Once, they even sold 200 computers in one day over the phone. Now Roberts realizes Altar computer needed software. Only hackers would tolerate programming in zeros and ones, and an e easier language was needed. Work. PC explosion. Following the introduction of the Altar, a veritable explosion of personal computers occurred. The Apple II had a built-in basic color graphics and a 4,100 character memory for only $1,298. Also introduced in 1977 was a TRS-80. At this time, only Apple and TRS had machines with disk drives. IBM, which up to this time had been producing mainframes and mini computers for medium to large sized businesses, decided that it had to get into act and start working on the Acorn, which would later be called the IBM PC. When it was introduced, the PC came with 16,000 character memory, keyboard from IBM Electric Typewriter, and a connection for a tape cassette player for $1,265. By 1984, Apple and IBM had come out with new models. Apple released the first Macintosh, which was the first computer to use a mouse, and GUI. The sales flew higher than ever expected before. IBM also did really well when it released the 286AT with applications like Lotus 123, a spreadsheet, and Microsoft Word quickly became the favorite of business concerns. So as I come to the conclusion to my report, I'd like us all to look back on how much we use computers today and how much they went through to get here. Thank you.